my lovelies welcome back to my channel for those of you guys that are new welcome my name is pinky and teaching witchcraft and tarot is what i do for those of you guys returning welcome back my loves i want to appreciate i first of all i want to appreciate all the love and support that i've been getting on all my social medias on my snapchat on my instagram tiktok thank you guys so very much uh as you guys know i took a bit of some time off because we were dealing with a family um lo or a loss in the family so i want to thank you guys for giving me that space and that time we are back and we're focused and we are full throttle. <laughs> so uh, we're going to start here with your readings. This is a monthly reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. If you guys are interested in any of the services that we provide, you can find the description or on the description box below. You'll be able to find all the links. If you guys are interested in the manifestation books or the journaling or the journal books, you can find all of that on there. Anything that is of our product or service, you can find all those links there. All right, my lovelies, let's get into it. We're going to begin here. If you're listening at this through headphones, lower it because <clears throat> this may sound a little loud, but I've been clearing my energy with all these readings as I want to be able to perform to my highest level. Okay. I call upon all my wise and loving spirit guides, spirits of light and love, my ascendant master, spirits of divination, please step forward, allow me to open up as a vessel of communication, let it be you who speaks through me, allow me to see, hear, sense, feel, and receive the messages loud and clearly here for a lovely Gemini's. Not sure if I said Taurus, I probably did. That was my last reading, I apologize. Okay, grounded. What are the messages that we have here for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of May, 2024? All right, Gemini's, I want to let you guys know we are going through, obviously we've been going through massive transformations with eclipse season. Uh, some of you guys had amazing experiences, others of us a bit more traumatic, uh, but it's part of life. And we're moving on now. We have Pluto going retrograde in Aquarius before it dips back into Capricorn. So for a lot of you guys, you guys are ending cycles. Uh, the thing about retrograde when it comes to Pluto, because it is a generational planet, it doesn't have the same effect as a Mars retrograde, as an example, or Mercury retrograde. Uh, the planet Pluto, because it's generational, what it does is wherever Pluto is touching in your chart, right, because of this transition that we've been going through the past year and a half, with it leaving a uh, Capricorn going into Aquarius. Now it's in Aquarius. Uh, it's been stationed there since the beginning of the year. It's going to uh, go retrograde. Actually, it went retrograde today and it's going to be there, I believe, till September. Now in September, it's going to dip back into Capricorn and then go back into Aquarius and find a station there for the next coming 15 years. So we're closing cycles. Um, the thing about Pluto when it does go retrograde uh, in difference to other planets is that it's actually going to empower you because remember, wherever Pluto goes, it's going to transform. It's going to bring the death of something uh, to give you a rebirth of whether it's your identity, whether it's the, you know, the theme that it, the house is touching, depending on what your chart is. But more than anything, because it's going retrograde, it's going to wherever area in your life that's touching, wherever you felt like you were defeated or there was some type of death, transformation, uh, whether it's on a real physical level or whether it's, you know, the ending of a relationship or a partnership or career or something, um, it leaves you feeling a bit depleted because there is rebirth that's happening, right? You burn become ash to rise again as a phoenix. So when it goes retrograde, it's giving you back your power and it's giving your power back tenfold. So what does this mean? This means that with this retrograde, it's going to touch all of us in many, many aspects. And a lot, of, a lot of you guys are probably seeing that already in the media, right? Um, people's careers crashing, <laughs> people being dragged left and right. We are already seeing that. So on the grander scale of things, like I said, uh, depending on where or what area in your life you felt disempowered, it's going to empower you. It's going to remind you you are being reborn again. You are being empowered tenfold. You're taking and claiming your power back. So I just wanted to mention that because it is a very important astrological event that's happening and it's going to be affecting everyone because it is, like I said, a generational planet. Um, 
All right, so let's get into it. Let's see what Gemini's can expect for the month of May 2024. Sorry for the long intro. Here we go. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is unfolding for Gemini? Gemini, you're also going to have a glow up <laughs> as we're soon going to be experiencing Jupiter entering your sign. It's recently went into Taurus, but it will be going into your sign uh, a little bit more uh, in a few months. So there's going to be a lot of transformation, a lot of abundance, a lot of success coming your way, Gemini. So let's see what you can expect for this month of May 2024. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Here we go, Gemini. All right, we're starting off here with the Hanged Man, the Queen of Cups, the Four of Cups. There was a, there's a situation or recently your perspective on a situation that you were dealing with on an emotional level has changed. For a lot of you guys, it could have been, this could also be habits, you guys, um, where there was almost this need for escapism or perhaps perpetually creating some type of vice because you didn't want to deal with something that is considered or they're showing me is connected to the past. This could have been a relationship. This could have been a career. This could be where you've seen it as a disappointment. Um, so again, there were, there was something on a subconscious level for a lot of you Gemini's that you kind of used another outlet to disconnect from that disappointment, not wanting to deal with that disappointment. What they're showing me is that you're starting to see things more clearly or you're going to start to see things more clearly where you're going to realize this is instead of helping me, it's been hindering me and your perspective is going to change completely. Now, the positive in this aspect is that I've seen you stagnant for a bit, wherever area you've been stagnant in, whether it's relationships, whether it's career, whether it's dealing with family drama or family dynamics that just made you feel uh, very disconnected or like people didn't understand where you're coming from. That's no longer going to be the case. What they're showing me is you go from stagnation, right? The hanged man, queen of cops, four of cops, disassociative type of energy. Like I'm just going to dissociate. So I don't feel the numbness that I'm feeling because you feel it at a core, right? Uh, even if people say Gemini's, um, struggle with emotions. I don't find that to be truth one bit. Actually, no sign struggles. We struggle with processing or expressing, <laughs> but not feeling. Sometimes we feel a little too much. Um, so Gemini, what they're showing me is those tendencies that you've been doing or that you've been using as a defense mechanism to protect yourself, to protect your space or your mental space or from going off the edge, basically, you're coming to the realization that instead of helping you, it's been hindering you. And you're sick of it. You're sick of either the stagnation. You're sick of uh, creating excuses. You're you're done with it. You're like, there is this new energy, this revamping of your energy. It's almost like, think of it as the universe is jumpstarting you again. And you're excited. You're going to be looking forward to the future. You're walking away from anything or anyone that's been holding you back. And more so especially because we have the Wheel of Fortune here, what I just mentioned, Jupiter is going to be entering your sign. So with this Jupiterian energy, what's happening is there's a shift that's happening because remember, uh, Jupiter is the planet of benevolence. It is the planet of blessings. It is the planet of seeing the bigger picture, right? Where you felt that you didn't see a way out with Jupiter's energy, you're going to feel like, there's a realization I've been stagnant or I've been doing this and it's kept me here and I no longer want to be here. I want to grow. I want to expand. I want more. So you're being proactive here with the page of wands. You're, you're being, like I said, reignited. You're being recharged. The universe is like, Gemini, I am pumping battery into you because you need to get it going. You need to get out of where you're at to actually push forward with your dreams, aspirations, and desires because you are worthy of that. You're no longer sacrificing yourself, Gemini. Maybe for some of you guys, you've been sacrificing for a while. Maybe you've been sacrificing having to deal with a situation that is connected to a mother figure or that is connected to the family dynamic, okay? So what they're showing me here is you're choosing your peace, you're choosing your sanity, but you're also choosing to grow. You're choosing, you know what? 
this is what I've experienced up until now, but I am worthy of more. I deserve more and I'm willing to embrace more, even if it puts me in a outside the box type of thing, right? Even if there's a bit of ridicule here happening, there is a feeling of like being rejected. Um, but I see as the month goes on, I see you become so empowered where you're like, fuck it. I'm going to do what I'm going to do because it makes sense to me. And vibrating from that authentic energy is what's empowering you. Again, keep in mind, Pluto retrograde, it's giving your power back. It's taking your power and it's almost taking your power by force. So think of it as no matter how much on a passive aspect Gemini can be, which you guys are not passive, but I'm saying even if in your birth chart you have a lot of like passive placements, it, it, the universe is going to be pushing you to really step into your power, really take your power back and stop allowing people um, to put you in a box. Stop allowing people to, you know, kind of see you in this light of like unassuming or it's almost like what I'm hearing and what they're showing me is like I'm going to show them. But I feel that more than anything, this is you telling the universe. I'm, I'm seeing what's happening. I am tuning into that and I'm taking my power back and I'm going to show you that I'm so capable of doing that. Think big, okay? From May, and they're showing me from the timeline of May all the way to July, it's going to be really important for you guys to really almost push, like push yourself to get out of your comfort zone because only through this are you going to be able to experience massive growth, Gemini. Now, this is depending on where this Gemini is your Gemini is placed, whether your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. But if you have Gemini in Venus or you're rising, uh, it's going to be very important to push your boundaries this month, Gemini. Get out of that comfort zone. Stop doing the same thing you've been doing for a long time. You know, try to t think outside the box. You, you guys are amazing at this. Um, go with the flow. Go with what feels authentic to you. You're not only going to come back and tell me, thank you for that, <laughs> but you're also going to see massive expansion and massive growth. You're walking away from things that are not serving you anymore, Gemini. And for some of you guys, this could be relationships. This could be connections. This could be you walking away from a job that is a dead end job that you're like, you know what? I've been doing this for so long and I've been going above and beyond because I'm really trying to grow, but you've seen no growth. And it's like, you know what? I need to get it going. I need to start spreading my wings and seeing what's out there. And you're, if you actually get out of that comfort zone, what's going to happen is not only are opportunities going to align for you, but it's almost like you're being guided on a spiritual level towards what your destiny is. So it's like if you start looking for a new job, for example, uh, you can just casually apply at a job that you're not really thinking you're getting, but you just, you're, you're, you're like, I'm pushing my luck, right? I'm thinking outside the box and I'm going with the flow. You will be surprised that that job or that opportunity is handed to you. Okay. So like really get out of the comfort zone. This is going to bring massive expansion for all of you Gemini's. Okay. All right, my lovelies. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and I will see you guys soon. Till then. Bye.